Yo, what's it, guys? You guys seen the Dark Law plus four interceptions board I put up? Eddie Head does it. The hero pendulums are amazing. Shout out Joshua Campbell, uh, Tiki47. I know that I know last name from the from Patreon. I think Joshua Campbell is your real name. Shout out to him for the Patreon request. Hero pendulums are a real thing. They're a force to be reckoned with. And one day, I highly, highly recommend a lot of you guys, if you like heroes, and you're playing heroes right now, play hero pendulums, offer the versatility of it, play a bunch of level fours, stratos, dark, uh, the dark law, you basically get a free level four and a free dark law, and you pendulum something, chronograph it out, you always get the effects off, it's insane. I'm not gonna show you guys a deck list, I put some dark law, like a dragster, double fog blade, easily, with any turn you draw, easily. And going second, you side cards out for the hand traps, and it's insane, going first and going second. So without further ado, make sure to check out Game Nation, link in the description below, use Pengon, five for five percent off all your Yu-Gi-Oh cards you get all the cards you see in this video and make sure to subscribe guys to that 13,000 we're gonna do a very special giveaway and even a very not just a giveaway but a very special match we got a guest in the audience here we got the national champion himself Gabe Vargas watching this beautiful hero pendulum deck list and actually we're also about to do a little best of seven match that we are going to post for you guys and the winner of this match oh the odds are big the odds are big but we'll talk about those odds in another video for this video back to hero pendulums we're gonna get right back into the deck, deck profile so we got the stratos versus the hero lineup the hero lineup very simple the point of the heroes is to turbo into dark law look how many one card dark laws you have you have eight one card dark laws that's insane you draw one of these and you just pendulum something out to shadow mist if you or most typically if you draw one of these five, you know most of it. You go into Electrum, Chronograph, Special to Stratos, Stratos, Search Shadow, Search Shadow Mist, Stratos and Electrum going to Underclock, Underclock and Chronograph going to PK Link. You have two free and just like that before your pen summon, you have a Dark Law and you have two Fog Blades before your pen summon. <laughs> you pen summon. Like it's absolutely insane. So it's so 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 good. Absolutely love it. And it, it ensures that it's a good amount, eight of them. Where if you draw one of these eight, you have it. And if you just draw the mass change, you have so by itself and don't draw one of the hero cards. There's so many uh, discard outlets, it's insane. You play 12 discard outlets, so you are 11, so you just discard it if it's dead. And if you draw a really cool uh, thing about the heroes as well, if you draw one of your 11 discard outlets, you just discard the shadow mist, uh, discard the shadow mist. And in doing so, you get yourself a free plus one, you get the stratos, and then you won't be able to get dark law that turn. But what you do is you get stratos. You pen some you normal pen some stratos, get shadow mist, and then special it, and then just like that you get like just by sending it you get two free cards. So re revealing a strato, uh, revealing a shadow mist, you get two free cards from it. So you just uh, literally a free rank for it. So revealing discarding a uh, uh, discarding a shadow mist or ravine or pen call literally equals a one card negate. You get a free rank four off it. We play way more level rank fours like uh, in here to ensure that it's possible. That's the hero engine right there. Next, the same traditional turbo lineup. Stratos, even uh, Stratos, and all the heroes make Abductor even more alive because you get so like literally eight cards that just give you free spells from Abductor. So you always search whatever you want from it. Magician count. This is the magician count I'm playing right now. Uh, three harmonizings, one wisdom, one gazer. Wisdom you always want just in case for if you draw one of these, you can send the wisdom. Get it if you ever need scales. One's perfect, and one of each of these for utility. We don't play janky. There's no reason for it. Two Jackal, two Dark Room, one Zero. Dark Room is only good to have three of because you could pitch it with Ravine, whatever, to get the Strudo out as well. But a lot of the time, you're going to want to discard the Shadow Mist because a lot of times, like Dark Law, you can always just Dark Law the following turn. Like, you're in no rush to Dark Law right away. You could Dark Law if you know it hurts them. But at the same time, if you if you have Ravine and you can pitch the Shadow Mist, you get a free two, free two level fours from doing it. It's insane. I'd rather a free rank four because sometimes, like, it's just better to have. So the p option to pitch that, if you want to pitch any of those from your hands, it's insane. Next, one boots, one Destrudo. This just ensures you get the two, uh, you get the PK out at all times and Destrudo, because uh, you play so, like it's necessary at the moment, absolutely necessary, because it allows you to play five Dragon Ravines, which sets Dark Horde mainly, but Destrudo as well. If you have discard outlets, like look how many discard outlets you have on the deck. Like you want to discard these, and you want to discard any of the hero cards because they're literally you're gonna get yourself a plus off any of these. So you got 
2, 3, 4, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. You have, because Stratos will search one of these. You have 12 cards in your deck to discard, you get a plus off of it. That's insane. Ravine and Pen Call have a whole other effect. You get a whole plus from it. It's like you get Pen Call and Dark Worm all the time. It's insane. Next, the Fool, Fool Extra Shrine, still amazing. 3 Ravine, 2 Terraforming, the cards I'm talking about. Like every card I'm showing you guys in this deck so far is insane. Only one card you don't want to draw Mass Chain, you just discard it with your 12 ways to discard. Like this deck's absolutely nuts. Uh, triple pen call, triple Lewis Alliance. Best cards in the deck because you discard the one of the hero cards and you still end up in getting your scales and two free level fours from it. Absolutely insane. Three pot of desires, three allure. If you banish the mass change, who cares? You just stride us into the shadow mist anyways, and you get a one card rank four. It's not a big deal in the slightest. You just change your place. If you banish a PK card, big deal again. You just pay, change your route of place. So there's so many engines in the deck that whether you banish your one-ups, who cares? Because you're not going to be able to resolve your whole combo anyways. So Desires is still fantastic in the deck. And the two Fog Blades. I was playing Wings before in the list and the combo I showed you guys. But Wings sucks because if they just steal your Shadow Mist with... Uh, if they just if they just steal... Uh, if they just steal your Dark Law with uh, the Widow or whatever, you can't protect it with Wings because I don't think it stops targeting, right? It only stops destruction. So two Fog Blades is enough. Because if they attack over it, Fog Blades doesn't just negate effect, but it stops uh, them from attacking. So Fog Blade is just better for protecting the Dark Law. Typically, you're going to have double Fog Blade, Dark Law, and a Dragster. And at times, instead of Dragster, you can have a rank 4 and a Boral Sword to ensure no one's attacking over your, your Dark Law no matter what. That's the main deck 60 cards. I'm convinced 60 cards is the best way to go because you can't just play normal pendulums. Normal pendulums suck. Like, what, you're going to play two guard, like, you're going to go two interrupts and that sucks. You have to add a twist to it to make it relevant. The reason why people think pendulums suck is because they're playing the typical, oh, 30 magicians, like, two guard, like, two turbo cards. That does nothing. It's like you can end up on two, three interruptions at best. That is nothing. This board, this deck puts up five interruptions and you got a dark color chance of three interruptions in its own. Next, we're going to go for the extra deck. Electro, Underclock, PK, obviously. You're going to go PK card almost all the time. One Nightmare Phoenix. No, like the normal pendulum suck. The yeah, normal pendulum suck. Could... Shut up. No. I re just kill me instead, bro. Make a remix out That's of snake. That's snake movements. Because I said normal pendulum suck. Yeah, like pendulum builds suck. from that. Jer you know that girl called Jeremy Mitchell? Like that guy. Or girl. Or whatever that they are. Oh, you're like, going to get bad again for that guy. No, Jeremy Mitchell, you suck, bro. I'm calling you out right now. Come through. I'll 4 0 you just like I'm about to 4 0 Rohan Thomas and then Gabe and then Jesse. I'm the king of the Yu Gi Oh community. Next, Boral Lore, Boral Sword. Dweller, Tornado, Evil Storm, Nightmare. We up the rank 4 interruptions to an extra nightmare. Because. Bro, I'm keeping that in easy. No one can hold me down. I ain't no. no I ain't no. No, oh, I, I don't want to say the word. Anyways. <laughs> Evil Storm Nightmare, because we play a bunch of darks now. So it just uh, allows you. Remember I said uh, uh, Shadow Mist equals uh, one card rank four? So Stratos, you're going to use for something else. Like you can go like Dweller, Nightmare, Dragster, even on times where you don't have Dark Claw. And even with Dark Claw, you got Nightmare, Tornado, uh, Dark Claw a lot of the times. I'm even thinking about taking Dweller out, because you almost Dark Claw every single turn. So Dweller is almost useless. But it's still good to have just in case you can't. It's that good of a card. Dorito, Vortex, you still want more one card negates. Just in case, like you got Dark Claw, Dorito, Dragster, like you can put up a lot of stuff. Like two spell trap, like you can do two spell trap negates, two fog blades, and dark fly at times. Like this deck's actually nuts. Vortex for the absolute, and then uh, dragster uh, and the dragster for another one card negate. Dark claw obviously because literally the whole deck. We're getting an ulti soon, and then uh, ignister. Okay, just the best way to get over uh, so many cards right now in the meta. It is a good card to have overall. I love this card, and the mirror it's insane. And I'm 100 percent positive. We're going to be seeing a lot more of the mirror because if you're going to pay attention to any of my decks, you're going to realize the pendulums are the, next, the new wave. These decks are amazing. Like, it's absolutely nuts. Like, absolutely nuts what pendulums can do. So soon, I know we're going to be seeing more pendulums, especially when they get unbanned in a year, bro. Oh, but when people see you play this in, in real life, I'm going to every single event after I get unbanned. Regional, YCS, Mo Europe. Australia, Canada, America, I don't care. And I'm going to not just top, but win every single one of them. He will never catch up to me, ever. Who is she? Nice earring, bro. I think it's in your right side. You know what that means, right? Anyways, that's the video, guys. I hope you guys like the video. 
next video we're gonna be doing a, a hero the next hero video we're gonna do we're gonna do two more for you guys it's gonna be a random hand we're gonna do three random hands that are two depending on how long the video is gonna be we're gonna shuffle the decks up and show you guys that any random hand we pick up is gonna be four negates with the dark law or interruptions might i say fog breaks down the negates and negates that's insane hope you guys like the video make sure to subscribe to game nation see you guys in the next video peace